Hello everyone, I greet in the name of God Almighty. My name is supposed to Newton Silas and today we have a very interesting video to react to and this one says that Satanist leaders during conversion to Islam and set the social media on fire. Okay, it makes people you understand very surprised of what is prompting their decision to convert to Islam. So if today happens to be the first time of you checking out my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Facebook and Instagram. And if you have any video you want me to react to, don't forget to drop it at the comment section and I'm going to check it out. So guys, before we get on to the video, I'm a theologian and I make this video not to discredit anyone's religion. This is basically for educational purposes and I believe that at the end of this video, we all are going to learn from this. So, Without any further ado, let's get on to this video and check this out. I'm 456 years old, a demon, a prophet of the Satanists, and at least 15% of Turkey will become Satanist. These, among other things, were what F.A. Zabani claimed while led a group of Satanists and became an internet sensation. He became so popular that he would debate Muslims on behalf of Satanists, challenging some of the teachings of Islam. He claimed he could read the mind too, and his job was to convince people to follow his path. 6 Haziran 2024'te Türkiye'nin yüzde 15'i Satanist olacak. 3 sene önce rüyamda gördüm bunu. Efendi yardımcısının yardımcısıyla bunu, bunu bana belirtti. İnsani bedendeyim şu an. İnsan değilim aslında. İki tane cinim var benim. 6-6-2024'te Türkiye'nin yüzde 15'i Satanist olacak. Başkaldırı olacak, savaş çıkacak tekrardan. Ben ve Lejyonlarım tarafından. Görevimi yapacağım, öleceğim. Bugün desem... Gerçek yaşama başlayacağım. Benim dünyaya gönderme sebebim bu. İnsanların özgürce yaşayabilmesi. İnsanlar senden korkuyor mu? Evet korkuyorlar. Genelde kadınlar, çocuklar, yaşlılar. Değişiyor yani. Hislerim çok kuvvetli. Sen mesela şu an ne düşündüğünü bilebilirim ben. Sana biraz daha bir şeyler düşünüp söyleyeceğim bakalım. Onları bilebilecek misin? Daha... His appearance would easily lead some people to have some conclusions about him, and in the past, they would be right. Pink hair, multiple piercings on the face, and some immodest choice of clothes was the normal appearance of Efe Zabani. What many didn't know was, Efe was a boy filled with too many questions, and too few people cared to answer them. It was easy to write him off, based in appearance and demeanor. In cases where he had the opportunity to debate any Muslim, he always came up with well-prepared questions and evidence to back them up until his last podcast appearance. Efe first appeared on the Turkish podcast, Underground, about three months ago, where he made the claims previously stated. Three months later, the host of the channel invited Efe again. This time, get his questions answered by a person well versed in Islamic knowledge. The host also revealed he had been in constant communication with Efe since his last appearance. What happened in the podcast? Did Efe find the truth he sorely sought? Did he become a Muslim? And how did it happen? Watch this video till the end to find out. As usual, Efe came with an arsenal full of questions and scriptures to quote to back up his claim. He started his barrage of questions, which includes cliches like violence against women, violence against non-Muslims, restrictions, how is Allah behind the good of the world when evil also happens? Does he cause those too? These and many more were the questions he was seeking answers to. From his behavior and choice of words, it was easy to conclude that, while he may appear antagonistic, he was willing to submit if he finds answers. He said more than once, convince me, maybe I will believe. İslam dini gerçek bir din olduğuna kanıtlasak sana. Bu sefer diyecek misin ben bu zamana kadar boşa yaşamışım? Kanıtlayamazsınız ki bunu bana. Niçin kanıtlayamayalım? Kanıtlayın o zaman konuşalım. Tamam, bunu konuşacağız. In the course of the interview, Efe admitted he once prayed before and he felt peace when he did that. In fact, he was a Muslim as a child. To encourage him, the hosts encouraged him that his questions are not out of place and he should ask more questions in his quest for answers. This he can do while studying Islam. Efe Zamani revealed his excitement at the opportunity to visit the Kaaba. 
Noting that he could not do that in his current state and appearance, he wondered if he would experience peace there like he had imagined. His host promised to take him to the Kaaba if he promises to become a Muslim. There he reiterated that he would love to become a Muslim if his questions are convincingly answered. After thinking about it for a few minutes, Afif finally decided to become a Muslim and take the Shahada on air. He went further to observe prayer with a group. In concluding the video, the host promised that Afi would be circling the Kaaba by the time the video is released. And this I can confirm to be true as Afi posted videos of himself in Mecca a few days ago. MashaAllah. Efe was the face of so many impressionable youths who were continuously seeking unchecked freedom to act and appear as they like with some. Like Efe are taking it a notch higher by subscribing to Satanism and the worshipping of things they have no idea about. He was very popular online. While wondering what his followers would think, he was assured that should not be his concern, but the opportunity to save his soul should be his most important task. He didn't set out to become a Muslim until he appeared on the podcast, and the clarity he got from his first and second appearance was enough to convince him that he had been lost for so long, and he gladly found his way back to Allah. Afe's conversion could be the catalyst a lot of youths who have chosen the same path as him need to retrace their steps and find Allah like he did. Nature abhors a vacuum, and the vacuum created by those who deviated from Islam could easily be filled by preachings like the one F.A. did before accepting Islam. This if further amplified by the use of social media. We are glad that Brother F.A. has been saved, and we pray for others like him to see the light like he did and follow his footsteps. Wow. That's a very interesting um, video listening to this um, story of um, Afi, of him, you know, saying convincing people to follow um, Satan to the point that he was actually even having an audience. But then thanks to the person, or shall I say the brother that was doing the podcast, to the point that he invited him, and then therefore some of his doubting questions in the were answered, and then from there he decides to become um, a Muslim. Well, that's a very interesting one and you know I think um, he has done the right thing because I have always said that it is a good thing for you to believe in something so that at least when you die and then you realize that there is a higher power, there is God, then therefore you are safe. But if you are just there as an atheist, you don't just believe in anything and then you die and then you go to realize that there is God or just that very higher power that is called God. And then therefore, you do not submit to it will. At that point in time, you will be condemned to what eternal um, hellfire. So if you believe in something, at the end of the day, you got to realize that it's not even existing. At least you lose nothing. But if you don't believe, and then at the end of the day, you die, and then you get to realize that that very higher power is true. At that point in time, you lose a lot because you will not have a time to go back and then maybe probably change your decision and all that. But then therefore, his story is very inspiring one. And I know that there are a lot of people, you understand, who may be confused, not actually, you understand, to be um, a Muslim or maybe probably a Christian. Some are just there. They don't just believe in any religion. And that's why it's a good thing that if probably you have some issues because some people sometimes normally says that they don't believe in God and they don't believe in God in the sense that some of them could be like there are some things that maybe probably they have been praying to God about expecting a particular thing to happen to them in their life and when those things in a sense don't come to pass and then at that point in time they started to have doubt they start to think if there is actually God or if there is even something in a called God in a in the first place and at that point in time they tend to what to backslide. But one thing I could say to you is that there's one thing that God always say that's in the religious book. I'm a Christian so I will always make my reference in a to Christianity. 
he says that I'll be with you, right? When God says that he's going to be with you, it does not mean that trials will not come to you, tribulation will not come, so poverty will not come. All those things could come your way. So many different things, in a sense, could come. But then, God did not say that as far as you understand you recognize him as your creator or him being your god means that you are not going to face in a sense trials and tribulation no all those things in a sense will happen to you but he's going to be with you which means that all these things will happen but then it will not what overcome you i believe that this video will inspire uh, many people and then i hope that a lot of us in a sense will tend to learn from this just like the aim of our channel is what to keep learning to get to know about um, other people's what religion so if you are a christian i believe that you could be able to like understand his kind of belief because i could see him as well even though he was convincing people in a sense to follow satanism of course i just see them as maybe probably they are just like 80s because i don't really think that there's much more um, difference between them and 80s okay but then anyway at least we have learned from them and then one thing is for sure because he believed you understand in that satanism and then he was working hard in a sense towards it convincing people in a sense to actually follow his belief in a stand system because of that was able to draw him to islam you see so i think that it was a good thing because at the end of the day now that he has decided to embrace um, islam i believe that some of his followers too will decide to uh, also embrace um, islam a very interesting video and i know that a lot of you have thought an opinion concerning this i wanted to drop it at the comment section let's all learn from one another so this is the end of my video if you like my reaction if you like share and subscribe and if you have any video you want me to react to don't forget to drop it at the comment section and i'm going to check it out so guys you remain blessed and i see you in my next video bye bye